Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about uh, development of gonads in males and females uh, in their during their fetal life. So these two are indifferent gonads. They are called as indifferent because they are they have not yet differentiated into male male or female uh, gonads until seventh week of fetal life. So from seventh week onwards, it will uh, get differentiated. This blue thing is called mesonephros, which is which is embryonic kidney, and the duct is called mesonephric duct. The pink one is called a paramesonephric duct. So just to remember P for P, pink for P, paramesonephric duct, and for it is for females. So the basic the base uh, is called as urogenital sinus. So coming to the paramesonephric duct, it is also called as Mullerian duct. It is a female thing. Just remember P and P. Mesonephric duct is called Ulfian duct. It is a male thing. It, the it, uh, male structures develop from mesonephric duct. So for complete development of gonads, we need some genes and cells to promote the development of mesonephric duct to get into uh, male uh, structures. Coming to male gonadal development, Y chromosome will be there in males. On Y chromosome, SRY gene will be there. It produces a testis determining factor. So what does this do? Uh, means it uh, develops testis. It helps in testicular development. So coming to uh, Sertoli cells will be there. So we are talking about male thing, male uh, gonadal development. So, so these Sertoli cells uh, secretes uh, Mullerian inhibiting factor. The name itself uh, says that it inhibits the Mullerian duct. That means it uh, suppresses the development of paramesonephric duct. So uh, male structures, mesonephric duct will uh, develop. So, so we are now we are discussing about male. Uh, so X, X Y on Y chromosome, S R Y gene and Sertoli cells uh, secretes Mullerian inhibiting factor. And uh, similarly, there is one more cell uh, called uh, Leydig cells. These cells secrete testosterone. That means androgens. So what does androgens do? These androgens will uh, stimulate, uh, will help mesonephric duct to proliferate into male gonadal structures. We will discuss about those later. So these are the three things. Uh, uh, so these are the three important things uh, uh, that's how uh, a male child is born so there is some process for males whereas coming to females it is very simple so in females there is no y chromosome no srvg gene, no testis determining factor so simply the indifferent gonad turns into ovaries and this mesonephric duct degenerates and paramesonephric duct uh, proliferates into female genital structures So coming to the things, what mesonephric duct turns into, this uh, duct uh, turns into seminal vesicles, epididymis, ejaculatory duct, and ductus difference. So these are internal structures in a male. Coming to female, what paramesonephric duct uh, develops into uh, like uh, or fallopian tube, uterus, and upper portion of vagina. So here, urogenital sinus is there. No, it will uh, develop in developed into uh, lower portion of vagina. So this is how mesonephric and paramesonephric duct uh, develops into the genital structures. Coming to uh, as a earlier I said, like uh, these are internal structures. So what about external structures like penis? and uh, scrotum and prostate these are developed from androgens that means testosterone uh, which are secreted by lady cells androgens will uh, help in development of these structures so simply in males y chromosome will be there sr gene will be there testis determining factor will be there so the indifferent gonad develops into testis in females there is no sr gene uh, so simply the different gonad develops into ovaries. That's how simple. Thank you.